Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a virtual private network in minutes using GBridge. With this program, you can do many things, but we're going to focus on creating a VPN. Now, this has no adware, it's free, and you need a Gmail account. Also, it's compatible with 2000 XP, Vista, and Windows 7. I haven't tried it with Windows 8 yet. So go ahead and download GBridge by, cl by clicking on the big green button. I have all already downloaded mine here and I'm gonna set it up with you guys I'm gonna fast forward this double click yes to the warning next accept the license terms and agreement default location ok perfect it's done finish Now here, enter your Gmail um, username and password, and log on. Perfect. This is really simple. Now, by default, you if you share or send an invitation to someone, you will share the sample, secure share. Now I'm going to show you how to create a new share. Click on the uh, secure shares tab and create secure share I have already created a folder here on my desktop but you can always create a new one I'm gonna go ahead and select it and click OK now in there I have the gbridge.exe here you can change the description name you can exclude files with certain extensions like you see here exe.bat and add a password if you want now go ahead and allow all friends and click on OK. I'm going to show you what I mean with excluding files. When you click on OK, yes, it'll take you to that folder. But you can't see the uh, gbridge.exe because we excluded the uh, file extension. Now that we created a new one, I'm going to uh, stop sharing the sample share that came with Gbridge. By unchecking this and click on yes. Now we are kept with the uh, client folder that we have created. Now let's invite a friend. Now this could be a family member, an actual client, or a co-worker. This could be anyone with a Gmail account. Keep that in mind. Now enter the person's Gmail and send invitation. It should prompt him if he has the uh, GBridge program open, that an invitation was sent. Just in case, under incoming invitations, you can always right click and accept invitation. Now, here I have the computer of the person who sent the invitation. If I expand, I can see the folder that he's sharing with me. Here it is, the client folder. Very simple. Right click, browse it, or you can double click to browse it. And as you see here, you can't see the executable file that I placed inside and remember that's because I excluded from the very beginning when I created the secure share now if I click on clients I'm sorry wrong clients clients here we can see all the excluded uh, extensions I'm gonna remove all of them so everyone can see all the extensions in this example now when the client goes back and refresh they can see the executable file that we place there. Now, say you want to have multiple folder share. You can always create a new one. In this case, I'm going to enable the one that is there. Yes to confirm. And then the client on his end, he just needs to refresh by right clicking the bridge, refresh friends list. And now when he expand, you'll notice two folders being shared. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.